evening everyone, welcome back to another Train Sim World free live stream. Uh, this evening we are on the uh, Tees Valley line and we're going to be driving the infamous 101 uh, in the snow, which will make things even more tedious. But it's going to be fun, it'll be a nice journey, we're starting at Saltburn and we're going to head over to Darlington. Uh, so, so we have got in the chat, we've got Intercity 225, we've got Joseph, Trains, tran Transport, Transport on 101, and Nicola, how are you all doing? Now do let me know about audio, but let's begin, as you get hardly any time to set up on this, so, hence so we had to pause it. Uh, that would be Bishop Auckland, so I said that to Bishop Auckland, yeah, hello Nicola, how are you? Oh, it's one of the older routes, so uh, snow doesn't lay on the platforms. I don't think it does. Out the way, people. Out the way. Coming through. Uh, let's get that set to red. Uh, and we'll also set that to Bishop Auckland. Although, if you see the back of the train, you've probably missed the train. So, <laughs> let's uh, head back to the front. Back to being the three coaches on here. As they did momentarily change the two. As that was more realistic. But that sort of... Well, people weren't happy with it. Uh, we'll keep the lights off. I mean, it's not dark, dark, and there's no tunnels on here. Uh, you know, saving, saving electric. And so it's probably they, they probably wouldn't have turned them on anyway. So, uh, or did they have them? Anyone who read on a 101, did they actually bother turning on the lights? Hello, Quicko. Mr. Cold, are you cold? That's a one. Get the doors shut. And let's get going, let's get the wipers on. Next stop is Mask. That's a very simple train to drive. Well, there's not a lot to it. We're off. Yeah, sure can, Nicola. There you go, Bishop Auckland, look at that. But let's get a nice screenshot of that. There you go, some of that. Yeah, sure as Richard, they did turn on the lights, but well, we shall turn on the lights then. But this is the 80s though, would they bother doing it? Or would we get it on? If I can, um... Actually, you know, we'll do it at the next stop. We'll get out of here first. Cool. Yeah, I'll make it interesting with the snow. Joseph Adams is Mr. Cold. Alright. Yeah, I'm a good Southern Rex. Hopefully you're all well. That is my... It is quite nice, yeah. <laughs> it is quite nice, I suppose. There you go. But hopefully the audio is all right. Uh, thanks again, Richard. you got the other line there. I can't remember where that actually comes from. But I know there's a scenario in the Class 20 which you come up from there. Uh, it comes, I think there's some sort of in industry area down there. Probably not any more realistically, but yeah, somewhere down there. Hello, Thomas. How are you? You've got the Christmas decorations up? Yeah, that's what I've been doing all day, so that's why we haven't been on. Up into my work? Well, I'm not there today. That's what happened. I'll be there next Saturday, and... Well, they actually haven't booked me in for Sunday yet. But they did say they would. Then it is football on Saturday night, so I sort of might keep it a little bit quiet. If they bit me in, they bit me in. If they don't, they don't. You're at TSW. You're, little, you're bored of TSW. Oh, we've got the new route coming up, so that will uh, keep things fresh. Yeah, the new route isn't far off. On Tuesday, Bremen to Oldenburg comes out, so yeah, we're not far off. And also Firefighter Simulator, so we're going to be quite busy on uh, Tuesday. Between the two. Have a look at that. Hello Munchies, how are you mate? There'll be a brake pressure. As we approach our first stop of Mask. It's a weird play of Mask. Hello, 
Maybe it's not how you pronounce it. Maybe it's like mask. If you're a northerner, mask, maybe. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Can you have the class 47 on here? You can't. Pull that back down to one. That's about, won't need to speed up. So 55 miles an hour. Yeah, driving the 101 in the snow is quite a, quite a task. It's not an easy task. A little bit more brake pressure. Probably a little bit more. Yeah, it's slightly quicker than what I'd wanted into the station, but we, we should come to a stop. As long as the wheels don't start sliding, we'll be alright. Hello Aiden, I'm alright. Actually, should be a decent stop. The back coat should be where the footbridge is, so... Yeah, that was a bit of a rough bit there. Let's get the doors open. And I think we should be spent a long back after this. Or do we? Yeah, long back. There's the 37, 31, 20, the 08, and the 101. Here we've got Longbeck, Redka East, Redka Central, Redka British Steel. We'll stop in there as well. South Bank, Middlesbrough, Thornaby, Eagles Cliff, Adams West, Dinsdale, and Darlington. So the only one we're not stopping at is Teesside Airport. Oh, bloody hell, munchies. Not good to it. Fair enough, uh, Daniel. Hello, Jonathan. How are you? It was up early here. Yes, yeah, snowy run along to uh, Darlington. Let's get these people to Darlington, then they can race down to London on the main line. Or wherever they're going. I'm sorry, most people probably just began to Darlington. Or Middlesbrough. One of sort of the big places. No one on this coach. Oh, we got a couple of people on there. I don't think any. Oh, there's a couple of people on there as well. Yeah, good to join if I'm on right. It'd be always early here. So much leeway on that bit. Hello, Sam. How are you? There we wait. The windscreen has magically cleared itself. You've done some Christmas shopping, lovely Joseph, getting it done out the way. I was about to say early, but not really early anymore. Fair enough. Oh yeah, we're going to get the uh, lights on. If it starts rolling forward, that's fine. I didn't, so. Longbeck's going to be a fairly tricky one to stop at. As we've been on quite a bit of a downhill gradient in the snow. And I don't think this train actually has a sander. We're completely without... Well, sand, I, don't, I don't think it does have a sander. I'm pressing X and nothing's happening. And I can't imagine this does have wheel slip protection. Is there a stopping service on the Galk Express? Uh, look at the description. Uh, sometimes it will say this, this will be a southern service. that will be the stopping ones. Well, there is some peak time ones we do. Just look at the ones which are longer than usual. So longer than sort of 57 minutes. Then you'll find the slow ones. In fact, I, I might not even speed up more than that. I'm just going to coast it all the way into uh, into Longbeck, which is just there. Yeah, on the Galic Express. Let's look for the longer duration services. Hey, awesome loot. That'll be good. Hello, Ferrari. How are you? What's the point of Christmas shopping? To get presents. Because it's Christmas. You give presents. And here we are. What's your favourite loco on this route? Uh, I don't know, that's a good question. I do like the 31. 
Yeah, I, I do like the. I don't, I don't really get it very often, but I do like. I do like the thirty one. That train is very good. Little Sal, sorry to hear that Ferrari. I'm all right. I suppose. Sit back and enjoy the nice chilly journey to Darlington. <laughs> you don't get presents. All right. Not even for your family members, quick, eh? Red Carice next. Start slowly releasing the brakes. Door shut. And let's go. Nice and slow. Hang on, is that that bug? Oh, is it st still a bug. How is that still a bug? Well, the lights come through the roof. Yeah, <laughs> they're not the best brakes. Sounds amazing though, the uh, acceleration on there. Uh, maybe for you, quick out. <laughs> Off we go. Let's do that. Come back down. Everyone is finished with exams except you. Well, maybe they started earlier, Ferrari. Yeah, maybe they started earlier. I'm sure you'll get them done out of the way. Maybe you're doing more, which I suppose is better. Nice, quick go. See that? What does the horn sound like? Weird. What do they call it? A time for giving, yeah. Time for giving and receiving. Christmas. All at the same time. Alright. Oh, you're, you're, I'm sure you'll get it done. I actually prefer doing exams because, well, it's pretty chill. You get it done early and then you just sort of chill out for the, you know, wait there, sit in the chair and wait for sort of 20, 30 minutes. And the go time goes quick as well. Which is the good, good thing about it. Yeah, you got it, Thomas. Hello, Andy. How are you? Not too far to Red Carist. Which is, again is a very tiny platform. The horn is too smooth for a British diesel. It suits it though, it suits the 101. Oh, I see Ferrari. Hey, I'll get it done. It's free at wow. What exam is that? A three hour exam? Is that like a cooking one? That is a long exam. That's got to be a cooking one, surely, Ferrari. Me and 20... Oh, so you're not the only one, then. Is the Red Cup British still yet? We'll be stopping there. On today's journey. Farming technology, that sounds fancy. Hello, Sensus, how are you? Be quite careful. I'm trying to make it a, a fairly smoothish stop. There you go. Yeah, all good, Sensus, all good. I don't know how this is still a glitch. I hope it's only on the front. Oh, oh, unlock doors again. That was weird. Okay, we'll unlock the doors again. Hello, J. D. How are you? Or is that some sort of spam account? 
Uh, I think the rest are. Oh, I see. Whereabouts is that uh, Ferrari? Bishop Auckland. Redka Central next. Do not lean out the window. <laughs> it's not the best, is it? People just look in. Hang on. It it's weird. It's gone past the time. Okay, I don't know. Slightly peculiar. Right there. Okay. Well, off we go. Just around the corner to Redka Central. Let's fix the brakes on here. Uh, well, the brakes are fine on here. They're realistic. It they, they doesn't have the best brakes, realistically. Uh, that parking brake, well, it is, yeah, just uh, the handbrake. I quite like this bit, sort of just trundling through uh, Redka, with the houses on either side. Yeah, how are you doing, JD? Unless that was a bot, maybe. I don't know. Could have been. We've got a 60 limit. Pop that down. We did the class 31 if we got time. We're just doing the 101. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, quicker, it's going to be good. I bet there's also an on the road patch coming out. <laughs> Don't know how well that will go, but we'll see. Nice Ferrari. And this is Redka Central. Which is a nice platform on the opposite side of this one's a bit pants. Even in Amanda as well. Welcome in. There you go, that was alright. These people are not gonna move, you're gonna move. That's an interesting combo. He's got brown hair, but then a ginger moustache. Okay. Yeah, Redka Central. Some of the NPCs do look interesting. Yeah, it's like the driver, that guy, with his uh, thingy on. Try to to the DLC, yeah. Uh, probably what it should. It's probably the smartest one I've seen, dressed up in sensible clothing for the snow. Well, ish, I suppose. And he's got his track, uh, tracky thingy on. Now let's get the doors shut. And it's Redka British still next. Yeah, not all of them, Declan. I think it rolled off now, it's shut as well. You found the perfect fruit. Oh, nice, Sam. 
Okay, all the way to Darlington. If we do do another stream tonight, which I'm not too sure if we will, so I've been doing the Christmas decoration all day. Um, so this as soon as I got up, started doing it, and only just sort of, well, not even finished yet. So, not looking back, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know if we would do another stream, not sure, sure. That wipe sounds a little bit noisy. Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, I've heard louder, the 1972 stock. It's not an annoying wiper on this one. And we get that out. Lovely. The 185s terminate, they do. Not too far to Redka British still. And then after that, it's in South Bank. Which serves a little community just south of the station. And that one is, is still open, surprisingly. Hello, Ferrari. Oh, yeah. Hello, um, seeing a bit Ferrari. Good luck with the exam. Well, it's Tuesday, isn't it? So, probably see you before then. Oh, yes, Declan. Oh, yes. You've got a little bit of a blind on here. Well, we can't have it down that low. We'll just have to bear with it for now. The low sun. Not too bright. It's quite a... Well, yeah, it's not, not too bright. I don't know, census. Yeah, not too sure. Shades on. <laughs> Bloody hell, so you're setting off night bot sensors with these little secret commands. <laughs> I'm happy with that. British Red Castile. Enjoy Amanda. Yes, yeah, so we're in sort of the heavily industrial section now of the route. Lovely, okay. Not getting up early, you could see Santa. <laughs> Uh, you got SNCF, there's all the industry over there. Look at that. Proper dirty and grimy, but good though. I mean it looks horrible, but it it's a good it was a good thing. Obviously, yeah, I'm sure I employed a lot of, as we were saying the other day. You know, this probably would have been the main employer for Middlesbrough and Redcar, probably mostly Redcar. I'd imagine most families did have some sort of involvement with the industry. And now most of it's all shut. Probably quite a lot of unemployment in these places. Alright, South Bank next. No, oh, who doesn't sense this? Who doesn't? Who doesn't believe in the big the big man? <laughs> Not particularly good. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Might I stand there for a capture card? Fair enough, munchies.
But then they probably closed it here and moved it somewhere else. Well, it's probably overseas, isn't it, now? Oh, it feels weird seeing the lights coming through the top. And that isn't supposed to happen. That's just a, a game thing. It didn't used to be a game thing, but then it, it, it happened. Right next to me, Census, on a chair. Have a guess, Nicola. Or Thomas, I should say. Hello, Connor. I'm alright. How are you? That sun is really low. The thing is, we're going to be seeing that all of the way to Darlington, probably. Well, unless it does properly go down, but it probably will go down quite slowly. It looks pretty cool, though. It's like someone's shining a big torch at us as we go along. I don't know, Richard, really. I think the Dostos are now sorted, aren't they? But not the 101. Well, maybe it's just the free car TVL 101. The Northern Trans Pennine one might be sorted. So it might just still be the TVL, the free coach one, maybe. Yeah, not too sure, though. I think the Dostos are definitely sorted now. They had the same issue. Well, most trains had the issue. West Somerset Mark 1s, they had it as well. I think that's been sorted. I love seeing the fire coming out the top there. Tees Valley has one of the coolest artworks um, for a TSW route. Sort of the thumbnail of the route when you buy it. Sort of the the industry in the background, the 37, the sort of sunset, the fire. It looks really good. I think that's down to 45 through uh, Grange Town. So we'll stay at about 45. That's alright, Connor. That's all good. It's quite a sort of strange part of the route, sort of this bit here. Sort of, you know, four tracks and. Quite a lot going on. Well, not really quite a lot going on, but then there's not really many trains. So the the the, the uh, decline of uh, the industry around here. How you doing, Andy? This is Grange Town. Which weirdly NPCs actually wait for trains here. Well, they usually do. We saw them on the platform the other day. Maybe they're all station staff. Cheers, Richard. Can't wait for Christmas. Not long there. Not long at all. Come on, come on. Got the double keyboard equals chaos. On your chair. Then after this, it's then to Middlesbrough, which Middlesbrough is sort of the halfway point of the journey. Once we get there. The, the 165 isn't in the game. Yeah, 165 isn't in the game. Yeah, we'll be doing the stream, Connor, and if I get round to it, I'll do some Christmas videos, like, last couple of years. If I can find something to do on something. <laughs> This is uh, South Bank. Yeah, that's much. Oh my god. Whoa, oh, oh. Splat. 
Wow. Actually, probably, probably not. It probably wasn't a splat, but close. Blimey. Return. Yeah, we'll be we'll be on a rosa on Christmas Eve for the uh, the present scenario, which is sort of perfect. Oh, just about. Yeah, we're all good. There's a bit of a slide there. Awesome, Connor. Right, let me out smudge. What they do? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Let me, yeah, let me quickly out smudge. She's meowing her voice. Chaos will be caused. Hold on. Everything takes forever to go around on here. I know a place called Stour Bridge, yep. Yeah. The 101s have really bouncy passenger seats at speed, used to get thrown about quite a bit as a passenger. Ooh, sounds fun. Right, let's uh, lock the doors, get them off. Middlesbrough next, which is a little bit of a gap. I was thinking of the sort of routes, well, sort of cool routes we could see on uh, Train Sim World. Well, there's something different. And one would be having a, one of the Welsh Valley lines. That would be cool to see. Maybe have a couple of them. I don't know how long they are each. But, yeah, have a have one of the Valley lines. Right, let's have a look. Let's, how long would one be for... Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Cardiff to... I'll find it somewhere. Cardiff to that place, Mefford Tidville. How long of a journey? An hour and three minutes. Well, that's sort of a good time for for a service. Let's do that. And how long is that in miles? Oh, 23? Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that would be quite cool seeing one of the Welsh Valley lines. I mean, that's 23 miles, so that's, that's not bad at all. You could even have sort of a couple of them, maybe. Like a class seven, six, nine, or maybe one of the older trains. That'd be quite a quaint route. That is something we don't really have at the moment. The only sort of thing would be to compare would be sort of maybe the St Ives branch from West Cornwall, just a really sort of quaint, almost like cute um, little railway line. You know, where it's just a little, you know, one or two car DMU, just going through the forest, little tiny halts. I know, obviously, one of the valley lines isn't really like that, but yeah, it's sort of uh, quite rural. Oh, awesome, uh, Nick, that'll be, or Thomas, that'll be cool, Thomas. I did wish they did added the Falmouth branch to West Cornwall local. As now that we probably wouldn't see that in TSW. Just I don't know. Would have been sort of good to add it. Awesome, Connor. The planner for Steniog to uh, Clandidno. That would be called the Conway Valley line. Oh, that was actually I think one of the last bastions of the 101. And that was one of the last lines the 101 actually served on in 2003 when with the 101s. I've been to quite a few places on the Conway Valley line, but not actually been on the train itself. Uh, Betty's Covid, Blanner for Stinio, I did know. Um, yeah, I've been to quite a few of the places along the line, but not actually on the line. Not on the train. How long is this route in miles? 
Uh, this one was about 26, I think it was. Oh, nice, senseless. And also, country wise, I do hope we do see a Dutch route at some point. <laughs> I sort of feel sorry for the Dutch fans because there's tons of Dutch uh, TSW players. We've got tons of Dutch viewers, but there's no Dutch line. <laughs> I mean, there's a third party one on I think Train Simulator, but not TSW. Yeah, it's just hard to get the license over there. Uh, I have seen the military senseless, yeah. Well, it's not the longest, Nicola, but then this route does... Uh, I like to sort of measure the routes off time-wise. You know, when there's a short route and everyone's like, Oh my god, it's so short. How could it be that short? That should be 70 miles long. Well, how long does it actually take to get from one end to the other? Like this route, yeah, it's saying 26 miles. Which sounds like, wow, that's, not, that's not a lot. But... I might want to stop at this one. Okay, there. It splits the platform in half here. Um, yeah, it's 26 miles, but it takes about an hour and 10 minutes to get from one side to the other, which is fine. That's that's sort of perfect. But you can't go out that way. Hello, David. How are you? Not the Bremen to Oldenburg route. I know a lot of people said, oh, it's quite a short route. But it takes what 45 minutes on one of the slow services from one end to the other, which again is is fine. It's perfect. I suppose the good thing about the longer routes is you get a, bit, a variety of services. Total time-wise. Playing some Horizon Zero Dawn, awesome. What's our destination? Darlington. Right. Let's go. You just got uh, a Dresden Reset and you're loving it, awesome. Am I excited for Bremen Oldenburg? Yeah, I mean, it's a new route, so I'm going to be excited. It is a Mella's birthday, yeah. So if a Mella is, if a Mella comes in, we should all wish him happy birthday. Oh, there's a 20 there. That'll be going towards Redco, the ore terminal. Uh, how many platforms does... Oh, that sounded good as that went past. How many platforms does Darlington have? Four? Maybe six? I don't know if there's another Terminator on the other side. But I think six, maybe. They do, Mike, yeah. I doubt it's very exciting. But, yes, they do. Hello, Andrew. How are you? So I remember it's about half an hour to Darlington. So we got Fornaby, uh, Eagles Cliff, Allen's West, Dinsdale, and then Darlington. Good to Andrew, I'm alright.
Got a grain as well, which is good. Let's stand at this speed for now. This route for the 156 snowing days, awesome. And you expect the second window wiper? There isn't one. <laughs> Looks like there used to be one. That you can see sort of where it would be, but I don't think you can actually turn it on because th th it's not there. It's certainly, you can actually, no, you can see where it would have been joined up, look right there. Awesome vehicle spotter. Well, that sounds good then. Look at the sun, though. Probably not a lot of need to go any faster than this, but we'll speed it up a little bit. As we want to try and stick to the timetable. Oh, we got another 101 cut. Is that a 101? No, that's not a bloody one. I saw the bloody local bus behind the uh, behind the ball there. I mean, the 101 sort of does look a bus. So going past T's yard, and it then turns into Fornaby Depot. See one of the 08s in there. down. Places with old Leyland buses. That's just the 101 is just sort of the early version of the Pacer. <laughs> they look quite similar, don't they? And yeah, then we come into uh, Fornaby. What setup do I use? Uh, well, I'm on PlayStation 5 at the moment, so, well, the PS5. Although we do have a PC and we're using Streamlabs to, well, convey the images across. Quite a nice stop. Let's let that come to a stop. There we go. This is Fornaby. Which is quite a it's probably one of the widest island platforms you'll ever see. And the car park I think I think in real life now goes right the way along. See you, Senseless. Thanks for coming in, mate. Take care. Yeah, there's a bit of horn action. As the snow comes down. Yeah, next is Eagle's Cliff, which again is a bit of a distance away. And we're here, and the next station's down there, so a bit of a gap. And you see where we've come from, Saltburn over there. You see all the bits of industry as well, it's quite busy. <laughs> awesome, Daniel. 
See that 20? Where's that 20 which was going in? That should be near enough there now. Maybe not. Maybe it's still working its way up. There's the 20. Which we saw go through Middlesbrough. Kind of a bit slow. Let's go. Now from Eaglescliff to sort of Darlington is sort of the last section. The home stretch. Change the gear, get that up. But yeah, it might just be one stream to uh, today, as it's been Christmas decorations day. So I didn't think it would take as long, but it did take quite a while. So might just be this one, and then tomorrow I'll be back with who knows. Hello, Ricky. This is an old school train, yes. Really old school. Get that up. Then over the river. And up to uh, 45. Yeah, we're getting there. Just in gear 3 at the moment. Or third gear, should really say. There's another service. That will be the Middlesbrough Shuttle. Hello, Justice. And that one is going to Middlesbrough. signal box there. Up to 50, which we probably want to change to gear 4 now. So let's uh, change that. Got the nice glow of the sun on the clouds. Class 101's all built between 56 and 59. I think you've got quite a few different variants of them, haven't you, as well? And you got all of the other first-gen DMUs as well. Hello, Ben. I says, what generation of DMUs are we on now? Fourth gen? Fourth or fifth gen? So you sort of had the 101s, then sort of the uh, the one five, you know, the 150s and stuff, and the 180s, and I suppose now the what the proper new ones. Hello, NG and Ben. How are you both? The 196, the the new diesel 196, I think it is. Yeah, fourth or fifth gen, I guess now. How's London getting on NG? Good to hear, Ben. Come back down. Oh, yes, we are on a DMU laser jet. Snow on the Tees Valley. It's really good. Hello, Superstar. I'm alright. How are you? Now, I'm coming up to Eagles Cliff. Just got back to hotel from central London. And I can't explain my hatred for that place. It was absolute chaos. Thousands in road. Huge. Bloody hell. Thousands in the road. Probably some sort of protest energy. Just do one every day, doesn't there? 
huge kids can I say oof all people doing Christmas shopping there's a 20 look at that well it would be nice to see something other than the 20 I mean I think it is randomized well I think that's actually what the 20 does actually haul so that probably is correct Yeah, this is uh, Eagle's Cliff. Can't remember the 101 nickname. Not sure. That will do. Pop back to a stop. I like the way the doors open at different times on this. Like you could see the sort of ones on the outer coaches opening first, and the one on the central opening a uh, well a second later or so. Yeah, it's going to be good Superstar. Well, it looks good from the preview stream, which I saw about 20 minutes of. I think they are doing quite well for themselves, really. I haven't seen much negativity about Bremen Oldenburg. If there is any, do fill me in on it. But, um, yeah, it's, it looks, that looks to be quite well received. Just hopefully, well, hope it actually is decent, the actual thing. I don't know, has there been any negativity for Bremen Oldenburg? I so it's probably the length, that's probably in one. Um, but yeah, anything else? Helen's West next. I'm not really too fussed about the length. It's a fairly nice route, what, 40 minutes from one side to the other? So, fine by me. Uh, a pair of 31 swap with 37s, and I don't own the 20. I think the 20 just sticks to its own services. Yeah, fair enough for it should. Yeah. I doubt that will be before Christmas. I did think that might be before Christmas, but I suppose probably... January, February time. What train am I going to drive first on it? Either the M wagon or the 110. Probably more the 110. Because um, then we can sort of see the M wagon anyway. So yeah, probably the 110. Just because I suppose that is the main new thing. Or sort of loco wise, train wise. And it makes sounds. <laughs> Uh, probably on the first look video, I'll probably go both in the M wagon and the 110. And then do the 155 and the 425 as separate videos as well. We, we've seen both of them before. So. Yeah, very Richard. Then you've also got Just Trains, Alan Thompson Sim, Skyhook. Uh, there's also Union Workshop. So there's quite a bit going on behind the scenes. I'll sort of expect Union Workshop to probably do like a Japanese route or something, which would be awesome. Cool to see. I'm probably still a long, long way off. Uh, would you do the BR101 Freight if you feel like it? Maybe. I've just got to get all. In fact, actually, probably after. T probably tonight I'll download all of the German DLC. I'm saying I'm gonna need pretty much all of it for uh, for the new route. If we want to see all the substitutions, all the layers, so I probably will have to uninstall a few British routes as well, which is like a dagger through the heart. But um, it'll be worth it, and we get to see the busyness of the new one. Yeah, hopefully, Richard. I mean, West Cornwall local was. I mean, it wasn't great, was it? A lot of people do say it's quite pants, especially the train, but... Um, yeah, uh, if they can keep to the stick to the same quality as the Isle of Wight 22, then we'll be in for a treat. If it slips a little bit and goes back to how it was on sort of West Cornwall Local, 
then we'll probably, we won't be in for as much of a treat. So yeah, hopefully they are at that standard now where they can keep it or even better, I mean if it's a new route, so it'll be better than the Art of White 22 and the quality on there. <laughs> Hello Noah. Dinsdale next. I mean the dovetail routes have been getting better, haven't they, quality wise? Much better, I mean look at the cross city. And the new one looks pr uh, pretty good with the little, I like the little uh, knickknacks they've added in. The little, uh, yeah, the little things, like the bridge going up, the barge going past. Those little things just make it that one small bit better. Yeah, PS5 limit's still a thing, which I'm not really too happy about. I would have sort of thought they would have had that sorted by now, but oh well. So it's probably a lot harder than it seems. Well, to be honest, it's more Sony's fault. Sony is the Sony are the people who put the limit on, so still blame them. Apparently, the sounds are quite off superstar. Obviously, I don't really know the 150, so I'll play it and I'm like, oh, that's fine. But there, the sounds apparently are quite off, and well, that's not the way it's supposed to be. The model looks good, I think. I think the model was completely fine, but I think it's more the sounds. And just sort of in general. See you, transport. Thanks for coming in, mate. Welcome back, Commander. <laughs> Fair enough, uh, Richard. I have reinstalled uh, TSW on the PC. So I uninstalled it every time but once the new DLC is passed. I'll in install it again. Let's quickly uh, have a look at that. Um, let's quickly, yeah. Cool. There's a guy that's quickly messaging this. Cool. You had pasta and meatballs for dinner, lovely. That warm glow of the sun. Fair enough, Richard, depending on the mood I'm in. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, let's go up to gear four. Don't really need to stick in three. It's still a bit of a way to. Well, the next comes down, I think, 35, just before Dinsdale. So it's 60, I think, along this bit. As we come up to uh, Teesside Airport. Let's get a flyby shot going through uh, Teesside Airport. Hello, VIP. Looking forward to the England game tomorrow. I am. Hopefully it won't be a letdown. Bit unfortunate that the US went. I did. I, w I wanted to see the US do well. So I wanted England to do better, but I did want the US to do well. But yeah, they're out now, aren't they? So hopefully we can beat Senegal. I mean, ideally we should. This is Teesside Airport. Sounds good, Richard. Wow. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm sure it would look quite good. Let's 
coming down nice and slowly. Down to 35. Well, we do, Joseph, yeah, if we don't, that's that. Amanda. How's that other game get? Was it Argentina versus. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Daniel said Argentina have just scored. Is it Australia they're playing, aren't they? Was, was it Australia? So it's probably going to be best if Australia won, make things a bit easier. Speeds right down. As we come up to Dinsdale. There are tons of like sidings and yards on this route, which you can't use. But I suppose they might just be disused anyway. Hey, I'm Davidoff, I'm alright, how are you? So, uh, quite quickly, the light is starting to fade fairly quickly. Well, but yeah, here we are. This is Dinsdale. Slowly building up pressure on the brakes. Just been to Exmouth today. Lovely. Uh, just down the river, then, eh? What train was it? 166. There's no stop markers as it's the 80s, so you just stop when you think the train's in. <laughs> good to hear Ben. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, she's all good. Hello Josh. And a couple of minutes late, that's fine. The light. Uh, I've seen some routes where they have put back the time where the lights go on so that you don't get pitch black stations which I like. Yes, that, that's that's definitely a good thing. On the class 165. Alright. A free coach, class 165. You get this open as well, the guard door. If you want to be the guard, which is, I suppose, impossible, isn't it? So you can't, you can't close it the wrong way. You have to do that one, and then that one. Probably not, Josh. Let's go Darlington next. And that's actually a collectible, that is. It's a weird collectible. Yeah, you've got to fix the lights. I suppose it's different. Probably Davidoff, probably. Am I bored of Cross City? No. Nope. Just changing things up. Fair enough, okay. Better off than today, I'd imagine, uh, quicker. Better music, that's for sure. I 
I don't know. Anyone who uh, lived in the 80s, what did you think of the 80s? Better than today? I suppose you wouldn't be stuck in front of a screen all the time. <laughs> People would be more active. Uh, would it be multiplayer? They're still working on it. Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know if I will do a lot of multi. I don't really. I, I don't know. I, I just like doing single player on games like Bus Sim and you know the bus. There's multi players and we have to start getting people in. It's like oh, I have to manage everyone. <laughs> oh, lovely, uh, Davidoff. But I'm sure we will do uh, the bus multi player when that does come out. But probably just not all the time. A great variety of BR diesels and electric locomotives on passenger routes, local and regional. It was far more interesting than the DMU EMU we see now, yeah. Yeah, because you had the really old sort of 50s trains, wouldn't you? And then, oh, just a really good mix. Lovely Coco, awesome Daniel. Alright, uh, Noah. Don't have stop markers. Surely, it's like, is there a rule? Surely, there's a rule that you have to have stop markers now. And I suppose you probably got snow as well in the 80s. So this is probably quite realistic. I mean, you're probably still up up this way still, but down where I am. Mm -mm. How you do, Umpsy? Not tonight. There might not be another stream tonight. I've been doing the Christmas things all day, so. Which uh, went on for a bit longer than what I thought, but. I thought it was all good. It was all good. Quite a few up north down. Oh, wow. Down here, like, everywhere is a stop marker. Sure did, Quicko, sure did. Spent two hours fluffing it all out. Got some awesome cartoons in the 80s, awesome. We used to get tops printouts from the signalman. It would let us know what locos were out and about in the local area and if anything interesting was going to turn up at the station. Awesome, Richard. So Richard, did you used to live in? Did you grow up in the UK then? Now you're based in the Netherlands. I think you you, you probably have mentioned before. <laughs> yeah, that's been awesome though. When am I doing police sim next? I don't know. And there's a video for police sim, which I think is still yet to come out. So I suppose keep an eye out. Most stations do, but the ones where they don't, you literally just need to know the exact point of the station. Uh, I see. Right, but the brakes aren't on, no. So they're stuck on a little bit there. No, I think we're, no, I think we're all good. As we come into Darlington, that is Journey's End. There's the 35. Let's grab that emoji. And we join out of the East Coast Main Line. I grew up in Dundee, in Scotland, in 1988, moved to Bristol, and in 1974, moved to the Netherlands. Ah, I see. Got ya. So you've got a nice mix then. Seeing the Scottish action and then the sort of down further south in the southwest. Sounds good. Hello Heiko, how are you? Guten Tag. Uh, 
you're... I don't know, I don't know, it's okay. Looking forward to work tomorrow, nice, quick, eh? Uh, Bristol is a nice place. Your brother married one of my best friends. Oh, awesome, Richard. Oh, now lives there. Yeah. Fair enough. Never been to Bristol, though. It looks like a nice place. How is he now? Yeah, I've had that before. It sort of deletes your comment and only does the emoji. It's quite weird. I'm not sure why it does do it, but. That should be alright. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. The ramp going down there. Can you what's through? Oh, you can't, oh, can't, oh, we can. Ooh. Oh, okay. Right, the dead end. That's the cliff. Is it the Clifton suspension bridge, isn't it? That's what it's called. It's awesome. Been to Bristol many times. Awesome, Daniel. But yeah, that is going to be everyone for tonight's Train Sim World stream. Probably the only stream as well tonight. It's been doing the Christmas stuff. Uh, but links can be found in the usual places. The Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, have a lovely rest of your evening. And I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.